Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kari and today I will talk about all the books I've read recently. This is a wrap up of the last five months, so from January to May 2023. I've gotta say that I reread a lot. I keep doing it, literally that's one of my goals for this year, not to reread, but I keep on doing it because I love rereading my books. This video is going to be divided by the books that I've read and the last section is going to be the DNF. If you want to see more of my reading wrap ups, I have a playlist on my channel. I will leave it here and in the description below. And if you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. That helps me a lot. And you will get videos about movies, TV shows, books, and sometimes lifestyle too. And now let's start with the wrap up. I love doing wrap ups because they just seem so cozy to me. The first book that I finished was Wicked by Gregory Maguire. I've said before on my channel that this is one of my favorite books and in this reread I confirmed it. But if you haven't heard about it, this is the story of the Wicked Witch of the West. This is the backstory on her life, how she became the Wicked Witch, how was her upbringing and her school life. There's a love story also there and a lot of fantasy elements from The Wizard of Oz, of course, because this is a retelling of The Wizard of Oz, but it's so much more than that. You can watch my review about it, really. I hope that convinces you in picking this up because it is amazing. But the only thing you have to know right now is that I love it. I love it a lot. I would reread it, I know, in the future. This time I read it on the Kindle in English, but this is my copy in Spanish that I love so much. So that was a reread, and this next book is also a reread, which is The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket. I have to say that I've read this like three or four times. This is the story of the bottler children that become orphans after their parents die in a terrible fire that destroys their home. So they have nothing left and they have to go and live with Count Olaf that is a terrible actor and a terrible villain who is only trying to get their fortune and doesn't care about them. We follow them in this series of books where they go with tutor after tutor that is taking care of them while they run away from Count Olaf. I know it sounds a little creepy and depressing, but this is the best. This is my favorite book series, I think, ever. I will make a proper review about the whole series and everything when I reread it, because that has to happen. Then I finish a new book, finally, and that is Family of Liars, the second book or companion book to We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. And this book was underwhelming. I don't want to say that it was disappointing because I didn't have expectations. It is the backstory of one of Cadence's aunts and it is just about her teenage years. It shows us how the family was back then and how was the relationship with her sisters. At the beginning, we know what happens in We Were Liars, so if you want to read it, you have to have read We Were Liars before because it's a spoiler and then the majority of the book is about the past. As I said, it was underwhelming. It was a little predictable, especially after reading We Were Liars, which I think is a masterpiece and that you should read it. But this one, I would say you can skip it. It's not a big deal. That was the thing that I kept comparing it to We Were Liars and it was not the same. So I felt it was kind of unnecessary. But if you want to read it, it's okay. It's going to be entertaining. And also the plot twist or the shocking moment, it wasn't that shocking, to be honest, or at least to me. But again, it's because reading We Were Liars first, then this is just underwhelming. But it's not a bad book just the one that you can skip. Those books I read physically, well, on my Kindle, on the physical copies, but you know that I'm a big, big fan of audiobooks and I listened to two audiobooks during this month. Those were Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, both by J.K. Rowling. I only wanted to show the covers because I love these covers and I love that I have these covers and that's it. But I listened to them on audiobook. And actually I listened to them in Spanish because the first time that I read them, of course I already knew what happened because of the movies. I read them in English on these copies. I never read them in Spanish. And this version is narrated by Carlos Ponce. I loved it. I think he does an amazing job with all the voices, everything it was just wonderful. I hope I can continue with this, even though it goes against my goal of not rereading, but I feel an audiobook form is so much easier. I hope in the fall or winter, I can read more of this, well, listen to more of this. Yeah, I'm just excited to continue with Carlos Ponce's narration and in Spanish, it's just like a new take on a classic that I already liked, so. That's why I'm very excited. I'm not going to tell you what the Harry Potter is about because it is already well known, but I will show you the back of the covers because they are amazing. 
I mean, to be honest, I should make a complete video all about this edition of Harry Potter or comparing the covers. Let me know if you want something like that because I can talk for hours about these designs. The next book that I finished is Lord of the Flies by William Golding. This was a mind-blowing surprise because at first I couldn't get into it. It was hard for me to read it in English, but something happened with the last chapters that just the whole story clicked for me and it made me enjoy it a lot it made me see it how it was and it is a masterpiece and that's why it's required reading i get it i already have a full video dedicated to review this book so i will leave it here and in the description below this is a great depiction of the decay of society a big allegory about human behavior and society and power play it's quite a heavy topic i know but in the book we follow children and we see how they try to survive on an island so that's kind of how it works with the metaphors and the allegories so it doesn't feel heavy while reading it but when you reflect about it it's like what did i just read and that's why i think it's very important so go watch the video and please read this book if you have please let me know in the comments below how do you feel about it and if you liked it and the last three books are the trilogy that started the grishaverse so the first book that i finished was shadow and bone i will upload a reading blog very soon about this whole trilogy so i'm not gonna get into many details here but i have to say that shadow and bone was my favorite book of the trilogy it was just a great star, an interesting world, a very fast-paced story, a great love story too. I gotta say, I love Alina and Mal. It was very well written and so much better than what I expected. And also the TV show is very well adapted to this. I mean, season one to the first book. Then Sitch and Storm had the middle book syndrome because I feel like some things could have been cut, the characters could have dealt with the things way faster than it actually happened. I liked it still, but it wasn't as the first one. Like, I didn't want to keep reading. I love Nikolai, though. The whole story around him, his personality, everything about Nikolai was amazing. And then I finished Ruin and Rising, which was the last book, the conclusion of the story. It was quite underwhelming in the battle at the end. I don't know how to explain it without giving spoilers, but I just gotta say that I lost interest while reading Ruin and Rising, even though it was a conclusion and the epic fight. I just gotta say about this trilogy that I really, really enjoyed the first book. And sadly, I was a little disappointed by the other ones. <laughs> I think they could have made one Book and it would have been better. Later on the Grishaverse, the rest of the books are duologies. So maybe this could have been a duology and it would have been better. I don't know. It's just a thought. If you know more about the Grishaverse and everything, please let me know if you agree with me on this or if you think that this was great as a trilogy. Now let's talk about the DNFs. And <laughs> I have two DNFs. Actually, I forgot one of the books, but I'm not gonna get it. I'm just gonna put the picture. That is The Fifth Wave by Rick Jancy. I couldn't get into it. I know that I tend to read more fantasy or contemporary or classics than sci-fi, and I tried. Believe me, I tried to finish this, but I got up to like 30% in the book and I just can't. And I remember the main plot twist of the story because I watched the movie. I was bored and I already knew what was gonna happen. And I'm very, very sad because that book was a gift from my dad and I treasure all the books that are given to me as gifts, but I couldn't. And I decided to be a DNF queen, which I am actually accomplishing from my goals. It's going way better than the no rereads goal <laughs> because that's not happening. But yeah, I DNF the fifth wave. And the second book, I'm actually very, very sad that I DNF this because it's Son of a Witch, the next book on the Wicked Years series. And it tells the story of a character we know at the end of Wicked, but it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same story. The world was different because the ending of Wicked kind of changes the political situation. And also I think I missed Elphaba. That's the main thing. Like I love Wicked because of Elphaba. The character makes the story. I just wasn't feeling it with Son of a Witch. I I don't know why. The storyline wasn't as interesting as Wicked and that's why I DNF'd it. And that's it for the wrap up of the last five months. This is the first wrap up of the year. And by the way, I didn't do a wrap up for the last part of last year. I just completely forgot. But I will keep on doing wrap ups as recent reads, not monthly or bi monthly, because I don't read a lot of books. Let me know what you think about these books if you have read some of them. Also, if you want to share your recent reads with me, I would love to read that in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can subscribe right here and you'll get more videos about movies, TV shows and books. You can watch more of my videos right here. Thank you so much for watching this one and I hope to see you in the next one.